Hi guys, I was just going to do a tear down on this uh, table lamp or bed sized lamp. It's the one that Nanny has on her side of the bed um, because it was flickering and I changed the bulb and it was still flickering. Let's, uh, well, the answer is I think I fixed it, but let's see if we can make it flicker first. All right. Ah. It started flickering and then it stopped. Let's do that again. Can't do it now. There we go. I think it's just the switch. I think it is um, playing up. There we go. Sorry about the flicker. But yeah. Now, whether it's a loose wire on the switch or whether it's just the contacts, you know, it's doing it intermittently, isn't it? Gonna have to put a message on the front of this video about flashing lights, aren't I? But yeah, it looks like it's the switch that did it because I actually changed the bulb and changed it again and changed it again and I thought these can't all be faulty. I went through about half a dozen bulbs and they were all doing the same thing. And it is only a straightforward light. Two wires come in, they turn a corner, they go up through there and they go to the bulb socket and you screw the bulb in. So there's no electronics in there or anything other than the on off switch. And that's what I reckon it is. There you go. Now it might be something I can just squirt some contact cleaner in there. And that might do it. I might try that before taking it all apart. I say taking it all apart. It's only two screws. Yeah. I'll <laughs> we'll have a look in there anyway. I'll unplug it. Find a screwdriver. Wilco, they went bust last year, which is a shame. I liked Wilco. A handy sort of general purpose store. All right, how do we get that out? No, don't want to come up that way. Ah, there we go. Well, a good solid weight in it to hold it down. And the wires are nicely insulated. Nice connectors on them. Each shrunk down. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice bit of quality, that is. But as I say, I think it's just that on-off switch is um, playing up. I'll just push the sides in. It's one of those ones we should be able to push straight through. Not that we particularly need to push it straight through, but for the purposes of looking at it. Yeah, as I say, it's all nice heat shrink on it to make it safe. Is it my might just be worth squirting a bit of contact cleaner in there. That might make the difference. 
There's no easy access to squirt contact cleaner in there. I squeeze it, I squeeze it, I lever it apart a bit. That bit of the switch, 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 switch. That bit of the switch will pop out, but then there's a spring behind it and we'll probably lose it. So I might just try squirting it without taking anything apart. Let's pop that back in place. So nothing to see here other than, as I say, nicely heat shrink over it to protect it. That is quite nice. I haven't lined that up quite right. Let's make sure we get it right. So yeah, I've got some uh, spray-on contact cleaner. It's supposed to be good for that sort of thing. Just plug it back in again for a second. Yeah, not flickering, not flickering, not flickering. So we're not going to know if I spray it, whether it makes any difference or not, but I will spray it. Oh, we had a bit of a flicker there. Yeah, we got a bit of a flicker now and it's cleared. Yeah, I'll spray it anyway. And then we'll just put it back beside the bed and see how it goes. That's what I've used. Just sprayed it liberally round the sides of it, pointing it in so it will have soaked in and sprayed around inside. Right, I'm going to try it. Seems to work. But then it was working intermittently anyway. That'll have to do. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing. And somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists. Thanks again. <laughs>